this video we're going to look at Mississippi State and one of their favorite short yardage goal line passing routes. And all from all the clips that we have, they've gone backside a couple times. We're really not going to show that, but right here on the front side, they've always thrown to that guy right there on a square end, kind of reading that space. You got a corner right there, and then you got another square end right here. So I've ran this play quite a bit, especially goal line short yardage, different things like that, just like Mississippi State has for years. And our progression on it would be one that square, very first square end. So you go first square end, second square end corner and obviously you go corner post right there with that on a tag if you know that safety and off of it but uh, right here we'll look at all the clips that we have as far as going over here to the front side now back side you could run a snag you could wheel it you could do all that stuff you could just have a single receiver fade right there you have the quarterback have the option to give this guy down here whatever route you want and that's kind of what it looks like to do because they've thrown a fade with this they've thrown a snag so they've done a few different things over there not sure exactly what tells them that they want to get over there to that route but the quarterback probably has a lot of leeway right there to give him whatever he wants based off of leverage. But we'll look at the ones where they go front side. And right here against Ole Miss, you can see there's a release right there. This guy is off over the top of number two. He's obviously the deepest corners tight right there. So we're probably going to try to work this first in. As you can see, getting that rub, he's having to run through a lot of contact. Good job being strong through that so he can get him underneath. And again, good patience right here from this receiver. Not going over the top of this, he's still trying to get that rub if he possibly can, or at least get underneath that so that he doesn't get pushed close to that safety. So right here, he goes underneath it. Again, it's a fourth and one. Short yards goal lines, what they really like to call it. Stick that thing on him. And it looks like this receiver, he's obviously looking in here. There's no backer. They have one guy blitzing, and then he's off. So right there, he knows he can keep running away from that safety. Puts it right there on him. Probably want to put that thing a little bit lower as far as the ball placement, but right there, Goes up, makes a play for a big first down right there. I know it's late in the game, probably not going to mean much as far as uh, the outcome of the game, but right there makes the play, goes up and gets it through contact. But right there, first square in right here, he's doing a good job. He's kind of pacing it, trying to find a way to make sure that he gets open. And he burst right there for the timing. If that would have been covered up, maybe he's tight. Now you can go two right there. Now you got hopefully got this corner, and you got time for him to work and outrun this guy to the corner of the end zone. But right there, it takes the completion. Gets the first down. We'll look at a few more clips. Here's a look here against AM. Actually, open field, first and 10, so this is not a short yard situation here. They send the back that direction. He slants. So that's what they have backside. But again, looking up your front side, you can have a corner, kind of a square in option route, and he's right there. So there's a lot of space right here. You're looking here, it's three on three with this safety at 12. So there's a lot of space right there, especially with this motion from the back. Hopefully, trying to hold those backers. So right there, you see that motion, ball snapped. Backer does a pretty good job of not getting his eyes off that motion. He's going to let him take care of it. Quarterback glances at it for just a second. So right here, if you're looking at the quarterback's eyes, boom, glances at it for just a second. And you can see all that space right here. As he's releasing vertical, playing that stubby coverage right here, whatever, he's backing up. This guy's inside. He's walling right there. So this receiver, instead of just running through that window, he just kind of curls that thing up almost like a scat route or snag route. And he just shows his number right there about three yards deep, sticks it on him. Now we're going vertical one with the linebacker. Good tackle there by the linebacker. Hopefully we can get a few more yards after the catch. And there's that late square in with this off corner. His eyes already peeking into the backfield right there with that stubby coverage. You can see the guy right there that's playing this spot. He ends up running vertical, seeing number three go to the corner. So right there, he's gone. That guy's getting depth spot job first and 10. Give it to him right there. Puts it on his body. Pretty decent gain right there, especially you guys that you know are going to wall those verticals, especially from number three. Uh, so right there, easy completion. Good read there by the running back, showing numbers, making it one of those easy throws and catches uh, for a decent gain there on first and ten. Here's another look on the goal line red zone area right here on the six-yard line. Again, going corner. Got kind of that read right there, late square in right there. So again, first one, two, three. Right here, what I would probably want to do here with these receivers is I'd want those guys to scoot out a little bit, go that way, get away from these inside linebackers. So now that read is a little bit more obvious. There's more space for these linebackers to get out. And so right here, you can see as it snapped, that guy, obviously a great athlete, plays for LSU. He's able to get out of the box pretty quickly. And with that tight split right there, he's got to be at least splitting the numbers in the hash for the square in, and he should probably be a little bit wider right there as well. But as you can see, there's a lot of bodies out there. So with that, as soon as that ball is snapped, now there's four guys guarding these three. Obviously, goal line red zone. 
those guys don't have to guard the back of the end zone nearly as much as they would. Just open field, knowing that somebody can blow the top off. There's really nowhere to go because uh, the back of the end zone is the extra defender right there. So four guys low, sitting right there on the goal line. There's that in. He does a good job Understand that he's got space here with that guy playing that far off. This ball's already coming out, so he's kind of sitting down a little bit again, pressing vertical. Those guys are seeing somebody press vertical at him, and now he's sitting down right there. Puts it on his body. Good tight turn, trying to go vertical and get to the end zone. If they would have been just a little bit wider, I think he gets in. Uh, but right there, good catch. Good job going vertical. There's that other square in kind of coming in late. If he would have felt tight man coverage, he would have kept running. That would open that up a little bit more for that second square in. But right there you can see a lot of space. He kind of sets it down, makes it again an easy throw and catch, puts it right on his face. And you can see how quickly this ball is getting out. Again, the back's going that direction, a bit of a slant. The ball's getting out. So again, timing of it. As soon as he catches it, my eyes go there. I'm trying to throw it to that number two receiver. If he's got space, I'm putting it on his face. Now they're trying to get into the end zone right there. Not quite able to do it, but we'll look at a few more. When I originally saw these cut-ups, I thought this might be the very next play, but it's actually not. This is in the fourth quarter. As opposed to the last one's in the second quarter. So right here, pretty similar spot. They're on the two-yard line. They end up motioning. They line up in two-by-two, two and they motion a guy across. And you can see these guys trying to communicate here. They're talking. They're pointing. They're doing all this stuff. So they're trying to get those guys off. So if they run the same play, they don't want to just do it the same way. But So they get over there to three-by-one again. He's going to go vertical. There's that in. There's late in right there. Still, I would say these guys are a little bit tight as far as their split. They're going to allow that backer to get in there. All right, and right here you can see. Let's watch what this receiver does. You can't see it nearly as well because there's this in the way. But you can see when he comes off the ball how he's kind of tempo and knowing he's, who he has to beat, especially down there close to the goal line. So right there he's stuttering. He's sticking. And there's that little bit of a rub right there for that square in. There's the corner he's having to go over the top. There's the extra defender that they already have in there based off of alignment. He just kind of slid out about a step or two, and now he's able to be close to making play. You can see how quickly this ball is getting out as well. Boom, he's hitching, the ball is out. Again, puts it right on his body, gives him opportunity to score. Pacing it, knowing that it's gonna be a little bit of rub, goes underneath, the ball is already released from his hand right there as soon as he sticks. Good, accurate football, and I think he gets in right here. Yep, he's able to slide in, uh, but right there, you can see the tempo, they're down on the two yard line, so what I would say is hey, we got time to work. Slow down a little bit, understand you should get this natural rub, especially if there's a little bit of contact there on the number three receiver. Shake that guy, go underneath that quarterback, if you got any space, put it on his body. Obviously you don't wanna miss high on anything breaking in the middle. And right there, able to fight his way, get into the end zone uh, in a pretty big game. No look here against NC State, still same kind of concept. We got those ends and we got a, a corner over the top just creating that smash just at three by one. Again, this receiver right here does a really good job of just kind of working space. You can see outside leverage here. There's a safety corner is way off. We'll take a look real quick, see what takes place. Ball snapped. You can see he's dropping right there to the outside. As they're pushing vertical, knowing they're going to push to that guy on this. And this linebacker is settling right there in the box. He has not moved yet. All right, now he just looks out there. Great job here by the receiver. He looks in there, glances in there, and sees that linebacker. Uh, there is not space there to just run to the middle, so he just curls it up right there. That ball is coming out right now with the anticipation and seeing that that safety is right there pretty high. Our linebacker is pretty high right there. So a lot of space right there just to settle it down. Again, a third and two, so short yardage right there, taking that completion to the number two receiver. Not a, the most accurate ball, but the receiver is able to bail him out right there. Get an easy three, four yard completion there for first down. Here's another goal line look. So right here, they're down on the three yard line against Auburn. And what I really like about this look is these guys are a little bit wider than they were against LSU. So right here, with this space, obviously as long as this guy's blitzing right here, that's a lot further for that guy to go to make a two on one on that first end. Now obviously that second end would be the progression. Third would be that corner. Especially if you're one on one right here with this linebacker, these guys are chasing hard. Should be able to win in that space. But we'll look at it again. And obviously they like to throw to the number two receiver. As this thing is snapped, you can see again a little bit of motion right there, trying to hold those backers, get their eyes away from it for just a little bit. Quarterback catches it, goes straight to it. Eyes going right there, pressing vertical. He's shaking a little bit. You can see how he's tempoing it off, making sure that that guy's got time and he's knowing that he wants to stick that thing and that ball should be out as he's sticking it right there. 
they had a rush right here off the edge somehow they don't pick it up not sure how you don't see that guy standing right there but they don't and right here ball gets snapped shaking sticks as that thing's stuck that ball is coming out right now guy in his face good job that you can see right here how quickly this happens a free rusher right there off the edge that ball's getting out before he even gets there to him good catch here that receiver does a good job of just making a play these guys are trying to hold this guy up for some reason not sure why because that guy's been the one that they've always thrown to on this combination uh, but right here getting a little bit of contact right there you see that guy going vertical trying to get on him ball's already out good play there by the receiver opening those hips on that throw not quite the most accurate but obviously you can tell with that pressure is probably going to be hard to be as accurate and as confident as he's throwing off his back foot right there great play and with that extra spacing i think that's the reason why that backer's not able to come in there and make a hit and i'll possibly knock that ball out great play for a touchdown there against auburn again even though the free rusher since he's coming from such depth they're able to get that ball off and get it out there and get a completion for the touchdown right here balls in the middle of the field against texas tech in the bowl game and right here obvious man to man you can see these guys are just staring right there man to man so not sure what they saw on film but they might know hey we're gonna get a blitz from the trips all that stuff they got trips into this side which the ball is in the middle of the field or possibly slightly to the left side to the trips so uh, right there kind of a, the spacing is pretty small as far as it, where it typically is right there again seeing man to man let's see what this receiver right here is doing looks like he's looking no it's man to man he sticks he's looking at that area realizes that there's nobody there as far as linebacker so I'm just running and get a little bit of a rub again on this safety right here that's playing man-to-man. -man. Uh, not sure why he's, he's guys try to contact. He should be trying to get into that hip, uh, but right there, good completion, good explosive play. This is a third and four. Again, not sure if they knew, hey, third and medium right there, we're gonna get a lot of blitz. It's obvious, hey, man-to-man. -man. They get a little bit of a rub here. Burst right there against man-to-man. -man. There's nobody left because everybody trying to get the quarterback and now you're one on with the safety uh, with your receiver on a simple square in slant re type deal and they're able to take advantage and get that ball out even though they're not hot uh, quarterback's throwing off his back foot knowing that there is pressure coming since there's a safety up high and they stay in with their six man pro they do a pretty good job picking it up still getting pushed back in the quarterback's face but you can see how that worked out against that pressure look with that end coming and replacing those linebackers. This is obviously later in the bowl game. Fourth and four here, probably the last play of the season for Mississippi State, and this is what they run. So again, corner, and you got another end coming from the outside. Look at this look from uh, Texas Tech. Obvious four down. That Mike ain't coming from that depth. If he does, it don't matter. He's never going to get there. Looks like almost a three safety look. Is there a safety there? I bet there's another safety over that direction. Uh, we'll play it, and you can see going vertical. His eyes are on the quarterback. There's the break. If we like it, you better give it to him. Ball's right there. Pretty accurate ball. Puts it on him right there on the shoulder. And he backs up a little bit. Uh, and I think they get stopped short of the first down. But, again, you can see any kind of medium yard situation, goal line, they really like this route. And right here, him going vertical. Hopefully they can get him uh, to contact and he's looking for a rub. That ball's already out. Put it on his body. Simple throw. If you're looking at it right here, obviously you can read it and do all these different things. Looking at these linebackers. He sees that space. He's trying to get to that space. And if you stop it right there, that's what, maybe a 10, 15 yard throw on a square in that most quarterbacks should be able to throw and catch. And they're able to right there. Not sure if they get the first down on this or not. Uh, but on the initial catch and throw should be able to get four or five yards every single time you throw and catch it. 